Hello, my name is Lynn Bromnick from the shoereviewsite.com. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this Nike Air Max Trainer 1. This is a Nike trainer which is extremely lightweight. Out of all the trainers I've so far reviewed, this has been by far and away the lightest at 220 grams for a size 4. Each. That's each foot. Um, they are incredibly light. It is quite amazing. The upper is made of a full grown leather, so it is quite robust there. They've perforated it here just to help with perspiration levels. The strap is there just to offer extra fit there, should you require it, to be able to loosen it out or tighten it up ever so slightly. Um, and the textile lining inside is really smooth, so really can't envisage any plasters needed for blisters or anything like that, any irritation. And if you notice, the tongue is actually one piece, so again, you won't get any of this tongue effect down here, which can cause irritation around the toes. And it's a really nice neoprene fabric. If you need to see a podiatrist or anything like that, the EVA footbed can also be removed. So if you need to have extra support in there that your podiatrist will be able to give you um, and get those fitted in there, then that will really help with the support. Nike says this is their one trainer. It says it in the name. So they recommend that it's suitable for running, for going to the gym and general day-to-day -day wear. Um, I'm going to try these on now. They're the UK size 4 and I am a standard UK size 4. What I like about them is that you can really pull the sock up and you can feel it coming right up around the foot there. Now instantly, I am a standard size 4 and they feel a little bit tight for me on the joint area here. Even if I try and loosen them out and as you can see there's still plenty of, uh, I haven't pulled these part of the laces here tight at all. But I'm just really feeling it, particularly in this left foot here, really feeling the tightness around this joint area here. Which I think if I was to use these for a general workout that my foot would, st would start to hurt after a while because obviously your foot expands as you're using it more, in, particularly in a workout. Also, as you can see, despite the fact that they're quite tight here, I do have lots of space around the ankle there. Now, the bottom part of my foot is being held on, so this is purely aesthetic, this gappiness here, but I don't think it's that great, and it just doesn't make me feel particularly confident, particularly if I was going to be wearing these for a long run, I would find that I might feel like my foot is starting to slip, when I say slip, your foot's ever so slightly starting to ease. The neoprene in there is lovely and soft, but as a result, it just doesn't seem to stick to your, your sports sock in quite the same way. Yeah, I can definitely feel that slip. Also, if I start to run, they feel ever so slightly like they're starting to slip. The soles are incredibly comfortable. They are flexible. But again, that tightness there is definitely evident. So, in, term, in terms of sort of summing up on these, it's a difficult one. If you're just looking for a fashion trainer, something to go out with the kids on um, a Saturday, walking around, then, and you like the look of these, then I mean, they do do them in some fabric colours, and this colour would be quite good for the summer, then this is probably a trainer for you. However, I think if you're looking for a trainer to go to the gym with, to go running, then I would suggest that there are other Nike Air trainers, which are obviously linked on my website, 
that I would think would probably be better for you. And that concludes my review of the Nike Air Max Trainer 1.